Hi, all right, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to get Apache Nutch and Apache Solar working on Windows 7. Um, so the first thing, uh, aside from, since everything's Java-based, you need the Java JRE and uh, JDK. Um, uh, and after that, we're gonna install uh, Apache Tomcat you can go to uh, just search Tomcat and then um, let's see search Tomcat it will take you to Google's first first uh, result will take you to this site go to browse uh, bin and then get the Apache Tomcat executable and then we're just gonna run this this out since this is running okay as well. Um, Alright, so let's set it up. I don't know why this isn't closing. Yeah. Okay. Alright, setting up Tomcat Manager, uh, Post Manager, and whatever. Just install everything. Doesn't matter. Um, these are the default ports for Tomcat. If you're using a, a Tomcat installation in Eclipse, uh, you either need to change these these ports or change it in Eclipse because it's going to get confused. Um, so let's set up an administrator, login, uh, and password. Uh, say admin. Obviously, don't use these because this is a really bad password. And login. Uh, password. Okay. Um, so to the default path. Okay, good to go on that. Alright, now we have Tomcat installed and as you can see in the bottom right it's running. And it's a Windows server so you can start, oh, it's actually not started. Uh, it's a Windows server so you can stop and start it uh, by going to um, services.msc um, or you can, sometimes this doesn't come up if you configure something weird. So you can come in here <coughs> and start it up. All right. So the next thing to do is to download Nutch, which is the oops, whatever. It's the crawler. Um. Okay. So you get to this. <clears throat> their homepage, go to resources, download, uh, whatever any of these mirrors, it doesn't matter, it shouldn't matter, anyway. Um, download Apache Nudge bin. Let me go with bin. That's it. Let's see. Download this one here. Um, and I'll wait for that to download. They're actually need to download SIGWIN, uh, which is the uh, Linux Linux environment for Windows, um, in order to run Nudge. So go here. And we have set up that executable. Next, and software and internet. Um, <coughs> keep the default path the same. Mm, yeah, it's fine. Direct connection. Uh, Sick one, mirrors. Who blame? I'm going to use that one. Sure, why not? Is there something installed? Say OK. Um, 
And what I do is okay. So what you have to do? I mean, I just install it all. I mean, it's it's kind of a lot, but unless you have space requirements, then you can figure out which ones you need and which ones you don't. So you click on the little thing on the all and it should say either, I mean you can go with default, it'll probably work. I think there's one other little package that you need from this in order to get nuts running, but um, I don't know, I want to use it all anyway, so I just click the little arrows until it says install and everything should say install. And then it's going to do this. Uh, resolving dependencies yeah. Alright, I'm going to pause it while this all goes on because this takes a while. Okay, so that takes a few hours. Um, so Sigwin is set up, so now I have my um, Linux environment. Now the last thing we need is Solaire. Uh, and you just type in, we need version 3.4 because there's a, <coughs> a Java API and library that interacts between Solar and uh, Nutch. So we need 1.4 of Nutch and 3.4 of Solar. Um, so the Solar J versions match up. Um, so I typed in Solar 3.4. You can just type in Solar, but it doesn't really matter. And then go to actually go to just their page download. Uh, we'll take you to this. Um, go in there, and then from here go to parent directory, and then go to the 3.4 branch uh, and download the zip. And again, I will pause it for a second. Okay, so that's done. Now we have our uh, nutch and should have so there's somewhere in here. There we go. All right. So uh, wherever you downloaded it, just find the files, uh, extract. All right. So extract so there, and we're gonna extract nutch. And then once these are done, it shouldn't take that long. Alright, so we're going to take these two folders, cut, and just put them in the um, Linux environment. Uh, go to, sorry, go to C Sigwin home. Um, this is just where I put it. Okay, Put things in there. All right. Um, all right. So now all we have to do uh, for Nutch. It needs a environment var variable set, uh, which is Java Home. Um, so go to my computer, go to System Properties, Advanced System Settings, uh, Environment Variables, and then do New Java underscore Home, and the variable is the path to your JDK, uh, which. Uh, you install just if you don't have it look up Google Java JDK download the latest version for your Windows um, and then it'll be under program files Java and I don't have it installed okay so I guess I'm going to install it so go to Java JDK Alright, 
accept license agreement, go to running 32 bit windows, which is this. Alright, so that's going to take a little bit, and then I'll pause it. Okay, so I installed the JDK, uh, now you can see it's in my Java directory and program files. So, what I'm going to do is just uh, take, actually, you know what, since there's a space in this, um, I'm going to have to use the, uh, the DOS style of relative path. Hold on one second. All right. So it's going to be relative path uh, stuff, so should work on, even if you have 64-bit windows, I actually uh, originally did that on there. Um, it doesn't matter that there's two program file directors. Just have it just like that. Give it installed on the default path. Uh, because that's your Sigwin, one of the two has problems with um, spaces in the uh, in the path name. Okay. So now this oh I'll just close this out and start from the beginning. Now open up Sigwin. There should be a Sigwin terminal on your desktop. Open that up. And navigate to C dot dot. Um, and you can see the Apache and Solar, or Nutch and Solar are in there. So let's go into Nutch. Uh, let's see, I think it's yeah, much. And then runtime local bin. And then you can execute nutch. And if it's in there, you know, it should give you this uh, usage stuff. Uh, you know. So see if we set our path correctly we can do this for an empty path that's fine all right so if you see the usage crawl URL directory solar all that stuff then it's installed correctly um, now another thing we need to do is set up our solar instance within uh, Tomcat Tomcat is running right now, so actually that's fine. Um, so go to, first thing we want to do is go into our solar directory, go to example, go to web apps, and copy solar.war. Um, now navigate to the uh, Tomcat directory, which is in Program Files, Apache Software Foundation, Tomcat 6.0, and then in Web Apps, uh, 